Hello and welcome back to the Browse Bench or welcome if you're new here. I'm Courtney and here on my channel I post crockpot meals, tons of meal inspiration, what's for dinner videos, grocery hauls, all of that fun stuff. But in this video in particularly, this one's going to be four super easy dump and go crockpot meals that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. You really like when I do these crockpot meals and so do I. Why wouldn't you? I love an easy meal, especially when you can cook it in the crock pot on those busy weeknights or just when you're wanting something super simple and delicious at the same time. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on future videos. The first crock pot meal that I'm sharing is a super simple one. There's only four ingredients. It doesn't get much easier than that. So we're gonna make a spaghetti squash with meatballs. And for that, I've got a jar of Hunt's four cheese pasta sauce. You can use any kind of pasta sauce that you want. That's just the one that I chose. I've got a little bit of Italian seasoning that I'm gonna use, my spaghetti squash, and then some Italian style meatballs in the frozen section. The hardest part of this whole recipe is that you have to cut that spaghetti squash in half, but it really wasn't that hard. And you can choose to deseed it before or after, but it's cut, you know, the way that I cut it. So it's a little bit um, easier to get them out afterwards. So the first thing I did was dump the can of pasta sauce into the crock pot and then added a little bit of water, put the spaghetti squash in there face down, added the Italian seasoning to taste. You can use how much ever you want. And the same with the meatballs, just to your preference for how many you need for your family. And then I stuck it on high for four hours. This is how it looked coming out. And y'all, this is really, really good. And then after that, I just took out the spaghetti squash and used my tongs to get all of it out. It always amazes me how much you can get out of a spaghetti squash and then it tastes really good. If you've never tried spaghetti squash, then I would highly suggest it, especially in the crock pot. This is the easiest way that I've ever done it. And when it was done, I just added the meatballs and the sauce right on top of it. All of the family likes spaghetti squash. It surprises me every time because the kids even eat it just like it was regular pasta. One of my favorite ways is to do it with Alfredo too. So if you've never tried spaghetti squash and you don't exactly like this kind of pasta sauce, then try it with Alfredo. It might surprise you. This next recipe is also only four ingredients. I did end up adding some Italian seasoning, but y'all, that's still just five ingredients, so it's super simple. This one's gonna be pizza chicken, and you can feel free to get creative with this one. I made it into like pepperoni with cheese, just, you know, traditional pizza chicken, but you could add any kind of toppings you want. For mine, I'm using some chicken breasts, and I did cut those in half when I before putting them in the crock pot. And then I've got some mozzarella cheese, a jar of pizza sauce, feel free to use any kind you want, and then some pepperonis. First thing I did was get all of the chicken into the crock pot, then poured half of the jar of pizza sauce onto the chicken. I did want to save half of it just in case I felt like it needed some more at the end. Then I added Italian seasoning just to taste because I thought it could use some extra flavor, spread it out over the chicken and set the crock pot to high for three hours. So after the three hours on high, it was cooked, but that's when you want to go ahead and add your cheese, or you can do it a little sooner if you needed to, um, and let that melt for about 30 minutes. I also added the pepperonis on top, but feel free to add whatever toppings you want. If you're using like peppers or onions though, I probably would cook them ahead of time, like when you first put everything in the crock pot. But since I was just using cheese and pepperonis, I just let it cook for 30 minutes in the crock pot. And while that was cooking in the crock pot, I just cooked up some of this Nor pasta sides, the garlic and olive oil one. I thought it would pair pretty good with it. Just thought I would share that with you to show what we were having with it. Y'all look how cheesy and yummy this looks. It came out better than I expected. I would suggest adding a little bit more sauce at the end, just to add some more flavor to the chicken ratio, if you will, in general. But overall, it was really good. And like I said, we did have it with that Nora pasta side. So the whole meal in general was just a really super no hassle meal. So perfect for those busy weeknights. <music> 
y'all this next recipe was a very good one and i ended up taking this one to my parents house before it was done to finish cooking and have supper with them and it was a hit with my dad too it's a italian sausage cowboy casserole so for this i've got my ground italian sausage we've got the red bite-sized potatoes i use pretty much the whole bag of that then some chili powder rotel minced garlic kidney beans and yellow onion we've got some beef broth fire roasted corn some hot sauce just a little bit and that's totally optional too if you don't like spice then leave it out completely and then i've also got some colby jack cheese There is a little bit of prep work for this recipe. So the first thing I did was slice my potatoes into thin slices and then cook my Italian sausage with some chopped up onions until that was cooked. And then I drained all the grease off of that before putting it into the crock pot. Once I got that Italian sausage cooked, drained, and dumped into the crock pot, that was when it was time to dump everything else in there. So I went ahead and dumped my potatoes in there and just kind of spread them out on top. I've got a cup of beef broth that I poured in there, the can of fire roasted corn. I did drain that first as well. Then I've got my can of Rotel, everything you just dump on top, but we will be mixing it later. I rinsed and drained the kidney beans and then I've got half a teaspoon of chili powder and then three teaspoons of minced garlic. And then like the hot sauce, like I said before, feel free to use as much as you want or as little or none, but I used a teaspoon, then mixed everything together and just spread it out. And then I realized that I still needed some salt and pepper. So I did add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste too. After getting everything mixed up really good, you'll either want to cook it on high for three to five hours or low for five to seven. I chose low, so I cooked it for five and a half hours and it came out perfect. And this is after it was cooked. So then I went ahead and added cheese and just waited until it melted before serving it. But y'all, this is really good, cheesy, a little bit spicy, but not too much with just the teaspoon of it. Very flavorful, hearty meal. And this is how it came out looking in my bowl with all the cheese melted on it. If you or someone in your family loves the traditional cowboy casserole or anything with like Italian sausage in it full of flavor, then this recipe is definitely for you. And I highly suggest trying this one out. It's really good. The fourth recipe I'm going to share was also very delicious. It's like a garlicky chicken Alfredo. You could add other ingredients too. Like the recipe I'm following asked for diced tomatoes and called it garlic chicken, but I've changed it around so much that I veered so far away from the original recipe that it's pretty much chicken Alfredo now. So for this, I've got chicken tenderloins. That's what I'm using. You could use chicken breasts as well, and that would be fine. But for me, I'm using these and these were not completely thawed out yet. They were still a little bit frozen, but it still turned out great. I've got two jars of the roasted garlic Alfredo. And then I've got some salt and pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, Parmesan cheese, and then also some um, rotini noodles. I used two different kinds actually, because I had two boxes of half empty um, pasta boxes. So I just kind of combined them and it worked out perfectly. All you got to do for this recipe is just dump everything into the crock pot except for the noodles. You do those last and cook them first. So I just did a little bit of salt and pepper on top of the chicken to taste. Dumped in both of the jars of Alfredo sauce and I did do my little trick of adding a little bit of water in one of the jars just to get all the excess around the jar. Shake it up after you put the lid on it and then dump it out and it gets all the extra that's stuck in the jar still out. Um, I only did it with one because I was afraid it was going to get a little bit too runny. But then I added a teaspoon of garlic powder and then some Italian seasoning to taste. I used a teaspoon of that as well though. And then I've got three fourths a cup, I believe, of the Parmesan cheese. I used the grated kind and just mixed all that up together and let it cook. I ended up cooking mine on low for about four hours because it was still a little bit frozen, not completely. Um, and then once it was done, I took out the chicken on a separate plate and used two forks to shred it. You can use the trick of using your hand mixer, but since I didn't have very much of it, I just went ahead and used 
my forks instead. It works just fine. After I got all of the chicken shredded up, I added it back into the crock pot with the Alfredo mixture and stirred it up really good before adding in my pasta. Like I said, I did use two different types of pasta, but feel free to use whatever kind you want. And once I got that in there, just stirred it up really good and that is it. Super easy meal and absolutely delicious. Another really good one. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and that it provides you with some new, new meal inspiration for easy crockpot meals for busy weeknights or what, whenever you just want an easy meal that's delicious. So until next time, I will see you in the next video. Let me know if you want to see more crockpot videos down below. I love hearing suggestions of videos that you guys want me to make, but hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you later. Bye y'all.